Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we out here, man. This is life. <laughs> yes, fire. Wow. So yeah, you can just check the vibe right now. We in the backyard here. Yeah, so this is these are the beds right here. But we've grown so many things. It's kind of like a down season right now because it's winter time. We don't really have any winter vegetables growing out here. But once the weather starts to warm up a little bit more, best believe enough things will be growing out here. Bring back the okra. Bring back the tomatoes. Bring back the watermelons. Bring back the peppers. Everything. <laughs> yeah. So here we are, man, in the yard, where I'm about to ground. I'm going to find a good spot, find a good spot to find and uh, get this thing started. So stay tuned. Yeah, so we out here right now, you know, grounding. So the science behind grounding, you know, what is grounding? Why am I sitting out here with my feet in the dirt? Who does that? <laughs> Why are you doing that? It's grounding. Grounding is a healing form that goes back thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And it's only today that we consider it a healing form. Back in those times, they didn't see it as healing. It was just something that they did naturally that just kept them healthy. When I'm saying them, I'm talking about our ancestors that knew the original way of keeping the body healthy. It's only nowadays where we consider like things such as eating vegetables and eating fruit. We consider that like a diet and we consider that as eating healthy. But then that's all there was. You had natural trees growing around, apple trees and mango trees and all of these things just abundantly in your area. So it wasn't a big deal to them. They didn't see it as like, oh, let me go eat healthy. No, it was just, let me go eat. You see what I'm saying? So with grounding now, it wasn't a, a healthy thing to do. It was just walk around barefoot, you know? Yes, some, some of our tribes and everything, we had sandals and things like that, but a lot of the times we walk around barefoot because it was just a connection to the earth. It was just how we lived, again, naturally. Grab fruit from the trees, grab, grow your own food, and you eat that, just connected to the earth. It was never a disconnect. So, when it comes to this grounding now, it's, now we look at it like it's a, um, like it's a healing thing, but again, back then it wasn't so much so. And what they meant by this is that 
when you are naturally plugged into the earth, it's harder for you to get sick because your body's immune system is much stronger. It's only when you disconnect from source that you begin to weaken your body's immune system. A prime example of this is technology today. We have so much technology, so I use that as an example. When you have your iPhone or whatever phone you have and you plug it up to a wall, what happens? It gets a charge. It's charged up. It's plugged into something. It's plugged into some source of energy, right? But when you disconnect that charger, what happens over time? The percentage drops down and begins to die. It's slowly dying off to the point where it's dead. A plant that's in the ground. Check. A plant that's in the ground. It's alive right now, why? Because it's plugged into source. It's plugged in to some source of energy, something. <laughs> it's plugged in. If I was to now rip that same plant out of the ground line, that plant dies off. So what I'm saying is that going back to Native Americans, they would say you get sick if you put shoes on for too long because they knew that once you put shoes on, you're disconnecting the soles of your feet to the soil of the ground. And there's a connection there that keeps the body healthy. There's a connection there that keeps the body rejuvenated because you're plugged into some source of energy. So, that's grounding now. Now you kind of see the science and the history behind what today we call grounding. And if you want to do more research on grounding, which I advise you do, of course, everything I say, I wouldn't lead you wrong, but I also want you to gain your own insight on what it is so you can find out your own things as well. So we have Google nowadays, so hop on Google and type in grounding or the science behind grounding or scientific research on grounding. And you will see modern day science are beginning to acknowledge the fact that when we put our feet on the ground, when we put our feet into the ground, there's something that happens to our body chemically. Something happens to our body on a biochemic level that enhances growth, that enhances health, that enhances vitality. There's a camera nowadays, I forget the name of this camera, but there's a camera now that can take a picture of your aura field. Now the aura field is something that most people would say is a pseudoscience. It's more of a spiritual thing and it's not really a science. The aura field is, a, is an energy field that surrounds the human body. And I, I've done a video on the aura field. I'll put the link in that video at the bottom of this one. But the aura field essentially is an energy field that surrounds the body. And there's a camera now that scientists have. There's a camera that takes a picture of you and then it'll display your aura field and how bright or how dim your aura field is. And they've realized that they took a picture of somebody before, um, before they grounded and they took a picture of them after they grounded. And they saw that the picture after they grounded, their aura field was much brighter than what it was before they grounded. So. I'm saying this to say that there is now science that acknowledges the presence of this bioelectric field that lives in all living things. For ancient times we've known about it, um, throughout history it's been called many different things, chi, ashe, ki, prana, you know, different names, different parts of the world have different names for this, but essentially it's something that man can't create and only the most high, cre uh, the most high creator can create this. It's only something that's found in nature. And this is why so long we've had health and strength and, and, and you know, a connection with the earth because we've always been connected. So at a moon healing, you know, the whole thing is to be healthier, to live a more upful life. So by doing these methods now, we can see how this promotes our lifestyle and it promotes our health and our longevity. Because again, because of modernization and because of modern times and because of 
Western culture and capitalism. So much of the things that we perceive nowadays is only to promote a profit. And what I mean by that is only to make money. You know, they'll sell you something that's unhealthy for you because it makes money. Not because it's good for you, but because it makes money. And that's the capitalist system. So because of this system and because of this Western mentality, we've lost the connection of how to properly take care of ourselves. But, <laughs> no worries, because it's so easy. It's so easy. And once you start, it becomes a lifestyle and it becomes a habit. It's so easy, just natural things, you know. Grounding. And it's grounding. I know because of the way we think in the Western world, this is not an everyday thing. You're not going to see this. People will probably even see you doing this and be like, what the heck are you doing? So I'm doing this now and I'm showing it to you guys so you can see. But when you do it, you don't have to take a picture. You don't have to record. You know, you, we don't have to share everything. Uh, we live in such a world where posts and shares and all of these things are becoming trendy. But some things just keep between you and the most high. No one has to know. So when it comes to this grounding, find a spot. Find a time where you can do it that if you want to keep it, you know, private because maybe people won't understand what you're doing. Okay, it's beautiful. Just find a time to get outside and walk barefoot. If you really want to get the frequency, you know, really charged, dig up a hole in the ground where the energy is stronger and plant your feet in the ground like I'm doing right now. Again, no one no one has to know. You know, we don't have to share everything. Some things can be just between us. And then when you walk around, you go into your workplace and they're telling you, man, you look like you're glowing. Like, what are you doing? You just chuckle to yourself because you know what you're doing. <laughs> and you just tell them, you know, I'm just taking care of myself. <laughs> yeah. So... Again, it could be a private thing, man, just between you and the most high. So this is grounding. We out here right now in nature where life lives. Everything in nature is alive right now. From the plants to the trees, the birds, to the bees. <laughs> Everything is alive in its frame. So, you gotta embrace in it. This is living, it's not man-made. Nature don't need man to keep it sustained. Nature sustain, sustains itself. And that's a blueprint that's been written out by the almighty God. It's a blueprint that's been written out by the most high. Can't no man, can't no man. <laughs> Come on, man. Most High lives. See it. See it. See God. The scriptures in the Bible that talk about see God. If we want to see God, look to nature. See God everywhere. See God inside of you. God is not just external, but there's a spirit. There's something internal with inside of you. See God. See God inside of you, and then you will see God outside of you. <laughs> no God. <laughs> no God. No God, man. God is real. See God and know God. You God. I God. We God. I and I God. The Most High God. <laughs>